Good night, everybody, or good morning, or whatever time of day it is. If I sound <clears throat> a little groggy, it's because I am getting sick. I always get sick closer to my birthday, and it is officially my birthday right now. As I'm recording this video, it is midnight, and I just turned 26. It's I just, like I, I'm gonna get into why I'm doing this video, but it's just like it's really funny. Like as you when you're growing up, like you're super excited when your birthday comes, and you you just really want to celebrate. And I've been super birthday giddy for like the past couple of years. Like I've had amazing birthdays. Knock on wood, I've just had really amazing birthdays. And this year my birthday was coming, and I was just like. It's just been, I've been dreading my birthday since January. So I've been dreading it for the past 12 months. And it's like, it's like I'm saying, please don't tell me that my youth is ending. Because I'm not ready for it to be over. But whatever. It's ending and my eyes are even red. That's how sick I'm getting. Like, I, it's just such a weird time for me. It's like I don't want, I find myself, I don't know if anybody else can relate to me. I find myself clinging to the past and things that have been years ago and I keep reminiscing about the past I'm like am I too young to like be reminiscing about the past like is this the age that you do it is this the age that you say yo I'm 26 and Jesus yo 10 years ago life was good like am I doing it right or am I pre-aging you I, I don't even know to be honest like I'm clueless so I'm packing my suitcase you can see my suitcase is on the floor over there because I'm leaving tomorrow I'm getting uh getting away for my birthday just going away for a couple of days to relax and i'm packing my suitcase and i haven't used that suitcase for the past year the last time i used that suitcase was last year i've been using another suitcase because i have like a ton of suitcases and i go in there and i'm like i'm gonna bring this suitcase because it's the smallest one i have and i'm going through it and and i and i come across this <sighs> It's upside down shit. <laughs> I come across this birthday bunting. It says it's like birthday girl, birthday girl. Like, yo, it's it's funny because like your whole world and you're like and I, I don't I, I'm saying this to my followers and people who are subscribing. I'm sorry if I'm blabbering, but don't ever stress about life because your whole world could change in like a year. Like I remember waking up last year on my birthday and this was all over the house and I'm thinking about last year and I'm like wow it's like it never even happened um I even have like birthday presents here thank you Nicola for being the first person to officially give me a birthday present the first person to wish me happy birthday like you have friends that you're gonna take to the grave and Nicola if I get married one day I want you to be my bridesmaid because I'm always opening birthday cards and shaking it for money. But like, yeah, I want you, I want to take you to the grave with me. So I'm going to do an in my bag. All that chatting for, for yeah, for this. So I'm going to do an in my bag. Because you guys have been requesting it. So I figure I'd do one until this a little bit. <clears throat> this is a, I don't really know what this is. I know it's a Trevi, but. I don't know what shape it is. Um, I've I've had this bag for two years and I've brought this bag like probably twice. I usually bring it like if I'm <sighs> traveling or whatever. It's 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 just a really difficult bag to carry because the mouth is so small and the bottom is so big. It's like a stripper. <laughs> That's what it is. Like that like little head, big ass. <laughs> So let me show you what's in my bag. This is this is how my bag would usually be packed if I'm traveling. Just so you guys know, um, there there's a lot of space at the top, and this bag is like it's a huge, just bottomless pit. It's got like two side things over this side, and if you can see them, but they don't really nothing much I put in there, just like irrelevant stuff. And tomorrow I'm gonna fill up the top with snacks because I like to travel with pretzels. I don't have any in there right now. First thing is my reading glasses. Um, you guys have seen me in these before. My shades. Um, 
these are my first circular shades. I've never owned a pair. I always buy aviator shapes, so I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? No. I've been wearing big shades. My camera is in here. You guys have seen this before. Baby wipes. This was in my Ulta haul. Remember, guys? Yes, if you're paying attention. My wallet. Um, and there's nothing in here. But, like, I've been walking around for the past couple of years with my baby sister's She's not a baby anymore. She's only two years younger than me. But her baby picture, I walk around with it in here. And just uh, a bunch of, like, traveling cards. Like, my Sephora card. My Miami Metro card. My Oyster card. My driver's license. My business cards. And my guest card. Just, like, a bunch of stupid cards that serve no real purpose. My iPad. Um, yes. I still have a first generation iPad. I am not a slave to material things. They, they they don't need to get my money that many times. I bought the first generation and I'm happy with it. And I'm gonna have this until it breaks and doesn't work anymore. Sorry, Apple. <laughs> um, this book that I'm reading, it's called Sweet Misfortune. I bought this in the Dollar Tree. You guys saw this in a haul video. I love this book. Like I've been reading this book and it's just, I. I've been reading it very slow because I don't want it to finish. Awesome book, you guys. Awesome book. It's written by, just for those people who are interested, Kevin Allen Mill. It's called Sweet Misfortune, and it's about this chick with really bad luck. My passport is in here. Can't leave the island without my passport. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Especially if you're Jamaican. Like, you ain't going nowhere. Um, my Moleskine notebook, because I... I take physical notes. I don't make notes in my iPhone. Like, and Siri is so annoying. Sometimes when you're like, Siri, can you? She just, I don't understand. Like, so these are my, and this here is like a pen, my headset for my phone, my iPod, and a sleeping mask. Yeah, it's, so, because sometimes they have all the lights on in the plane. And I always just have a sleeping mask in my bag. I don't really know why. You never know when you're going to need to, like, um, kidnap somebody and you need to cover their eyes or something. Uh, my makeup pouch. Uh, let me show you what's in there. Lip gloss. Visine, because I have itchy eyes. My thumb drive. The, um, lip gloss. Rag. Nail file. More lip gloss. Like bajillions of lip glosses there's nothing much in here as i said um this there's it's like a portable bag like you pull it out and becomes a bag if i have like excess things and these are my business cards and this is like a little container that i keep like tampons in and panty liners just if i'm traveling and if i need one or if a girl beside me needs one i will have one um that's not just like traveling on a plane i mean like traveling in general uh, a loose pen and that's that's it and like this bag is heavy on its own like there doesn't need to be anything in here for it to be heavy I know a lot of girls have said it's not heavy but it really is a heavy bag for me like I don't bring it that much this is probably my fifth time bringing it and I love this bag it's gorgeous but oh my god it's it's really heavy it comes with like an uh, a, another strap here which is awesome. This is how I carry it most of the time over my shoulder. The straps are big enough to carry them, but like I just feel so much more in control when I'm carrying it by these straps. And in case anybody asks, my Louis Vuitton is made in France. Um, and yeah, so that's what's in my bag. That's my special what's in my bag. That's my special birthday and travel edition. And in case I don't like make another video forever. Um, I just want to say that I hope you guys had an awesome year this year. And that going into next year, you have an uh, amazing year. And just know that anything that you can dream, you can imagine, you can do it. And don't even worry about it because where you are today doesn't have to be where you're going to be next year. I read this somewhere once. Um, thought it was just a perfect phrase. It says, nothing is permanent not failure, not success. 
So you might be laughing now, but you might be crying later. Whereas you might be crying right now, and you might be laughing later. Okay, you guys, like, I know I said I was gonna go to my bed right now, but like, I had to show you guys what my friend gave me for my birthday. Now, it matches my shorts, my bed shorts. So you know I am obsessed with leopard print. And it's got Hello Kitty on it. Like, this is my favorite birthday present. I don't care what anybody else gives me. This is like, everybody knows that Hello Kitty is my nigga. And then she gave me a charger with Hello Kitty on it. And like, right now, I'm on cloud nine. That's, that's all I had to say. Thanks, Nicola. Okay, I'm really going to bed now. Bye.